We have dozens of plants from Garden for Wildlife now set in the rain garden about to be planted. We've integrated some of the native soil with compost. We'll fill in a little bit more with compost once we've dug in, kind of set the little start in there, add some compost as a top dressing to kind of settle everything. These plants are at the bottom of this depression. These are a set of three vertical swales. These are going perpendicular to a contour rather than on contour. So it's moving the water from the highest point in the landscape to the lowest point of the landscape. All of these plants are incredibly thirsty plants. They want to have wet feet. They want to absorb water. So every time there's a rain event, the water is going to channel down into these swales and these plants are going to stabilize the soil and thrive. And eventually you're not even going to notice that there is a swale there because all of the plants will have filled into yay height. And you're not going to notice that it even dips down at all except for when it's a rain event and you don't have a river of water pouring down the side of your yard because it has somewhere to go.